Hi, this is DarkFox127 and welcome back to another Skyrim Creation Kit tutorial video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the Creation Kit Platform Extended Tool for Skyrim. So let's dive into it. Before we jump in, you might be thinking, Dark, why on earth do I even need this tool? The Creation Kit works fine as it is. Well, if you have used the Creation Kit tool previously, you'll know that it is incredibly slow, especially when it comes to the Special Edition CK. It has been since release and all the way through to its latest version. Uh, this tool is essentially, first and foremost, going to speed things up immensely and make them more efficient. So where previously it may have taken two or three minutes to load something, it should now take something like 30 seconds just to give you an exaggerated example. But you will see shortly that it loads pretty darn quick um, obviously depending on your machine it might vary um, but there's also some additional functionality that comes with this um, just some quality of life features and there's an awful lot of customization within the any settings which i'll get into toward the end of the video uh, including things like dark mode which is super special uh, super useful for somebody like me that does a lot of late evening modding so without further ado let's dive into the installation section In order to install the tool, all you need to do is head over to the Skyrim Nexus using the link in the description down below. Click on the Files tab and click on Manual Download on the file in the main files. And then click on Download. And just make sure that, especially if you're using the latest version of Chrome, that it's not blocking the download at all and just download the file anyway if it flags it as suspicious. And then head over to your File Explorer window you should see that you've got this downloaded in your download section. Right click on it, extract all, extract, and then go into the extracted folder. And you'll see that you've got a number of files here, DLLs, an any file, text file, pack, and a number of database files. Select everything here, right click, cut, and then go to your Skyrim directory. So for me, this is on my G drive, Steam, Steam apps, common, Skyrim special edition. And you're going to want to go ahead and paste it in here. It will be the same place that your creation kit any is located. Right click, paste. And if you are prompted, you shouldn't be, but replace any files that it asks for, but these should all be fresh files. Now, optionally, if you do know the version of the creation kit that you are using, you can go ahead and delete the database files for the ones that you just don't need. You only need the one for your version of the creation kit. And something worth mentioning is that you will only be able to use this tool with version 153 or above. So now that that's got all those files in there, all we've got to do is go ahead, load the creation kit. I like to load my creation kit in Mod Organizer 2. If that's something that you don't currently do and are interested in doing, I would recommend that you check out my video. That will be in the description down below as there's a few things that you need to take into consideration and a small fix that you may need to do to get it to actually run correctly and load. Um, but I'm gonna load mine through MO anyway and just show you how much quicker this is. You'll see that you get that custom little pop-up there as well from the authors of the mod. And if I go ahead and load any data file here, so I'll go with my latest mod, the Code of Moloch, you'll notice that it's a heck of a lot quicker. It may be quicker or slower than mine, depending on your rig, but compared to how it would have been before this tool was added, um, it will be insanely fast. It will be a fraction of the time. At the top as well, you'll see that it's working because it will have the CKPE version 0 0.1, or at least at the time of this video, build 537 that will indicate that it is in fact working but i'm going to go ahead close the creation kit and show you some additional tweaks that you can do including things like dark mode to get the most out of this tool if you head back to your skyrim directory and locate the creation kit platform extended dot any file you can open this in notepad or notepad plus plus either one works i use notepad plus plus and you'll see that this gives you a bunch of customization. It's got a lot of commenting on here and it's got a lot of descriptions for different things that you know uh, what sort of toggles do what essentially. There's a ton of stuff on here as you can see. Um, a few of the ones that I want to mention is on line 13 you've got B generate crash dumps equals true. So if you're like me and you, you do an awful lot of modding and from time to time the creation kit likes to crash for various reasons, uh, although these dump files can be useful, a lot of the times it will 
leave a lot of text files just loose in your Skyrim directory and it's it's horrible to deal with. So you can set that to false if you like. And that's something I'll be doing. However, you would want to set it back to true if you wanted to go back and, and use those dump files created if you do start experiencing issues with the kit or a particular mod. Dark theme is a favorite of mine uh, and many others, I'm sure. So you can set that to true as well. By default, as you saw, it's in light mode, but you can set that to dark mode by changing it to true. And also an interesting one for me is the face gen. So if you don't like face uh, gen data being generated automatically, you can turn that off. You can change various different settings here. Um, and I would recommend that you do give this a go through, give it a read. Uh, see what different options do. There's some useful stuff in here. There's some things that you can toggle on, things you can toggle off, as you can see, um, incredibly useful. And that is just about it for another Creation Kit tutorial video. So I hope you found it useful. Please let me know in the comments section down below. Hit that like, subscribe, and the bell notification if you haven't already for more videos like this one in the future. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll speak to you next time.